I've got the Sparkle Women's Day group coffee morning next Tuesday. How am I supposed to Maybe do my Maybe you spend more time listening to your own daughter instead of your gossipy mates. Who was that? Just Dave, Amjad, and Imran Pervez's uncle. Oh, my God. Why is this happening to me? Because you and Imran Wonky I were up in your room doing biology practicals. <laughs> but we weren't. I keep telling you. That's not what we've heard. From who? Where's all this come from? What kind of an idiot would start a rumour like that? <laughs> a very nice idiot who loves you very much. <laughs> Dad! But it's OK, Betty. I didn't believe it for a moment. Because you made it all up? Oh, yes. <laughs> you made it up? Huh. Why? Well... I was going to invite the Pervezes like you wanted, but then I bumped into Mr. Javed, you see, and then... Are you telling me that you invented an imaginary love affair for your own daughter just so you could invite some business contact who we don't even know to a wedding? <laughs> Let's not get bogged down with who said what to who. The good news is, I was lying. <laughs> Yes, and now you're going to tell the truth. You are going to go in there and tell everyone what you've done and clear Shazia's name, and then I'll be able to show my face at the Sparkle Women's Day group coffee morning next Tuesday. But... Go! OK. Oh, what? So I didn't snog him around Pavez, so now there's no scandal and everything's OK again, is that it? Um... Yes. Yes. <laughs> what if I did go out with him around Pavez? What if I went out with him around Pavez and then I moved on to his brothers? Oh, right, because of his funny eye. <laughs> what if I went out with half of Spark Hill? Would that matter to you? Which half are we talking about? <laughs> That's not the point. Don't you see? My body is my own. It doesn't belong to anyone else. I can do what I want with it. It shouldn't matter to Amjad what I've done in the past. And it shouldn't matter to you either. She's right. Is she? <laughs> of course. We are parents. We should support her no matter what. Oh, I'm so sorry, Betty. I don't deserve to have such a wonderful daughter. Mom. You're so smart and pretty and kind. And I'm a silly old woman and a terrible mother. Mom, you're not a terrible mother. Don't interrupt us, sweetie. 